Cut it scale, guys. Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are here with some twabby goodness. Yep, we have gotten the twab. Of course, it is a meaty one this time. The last few weeks have been kind of light, but today we got some brand new content to kind of go over. Brand new stuff we have been told about the upcoming season in terms of weaponry in both mid season now and kind of what season 19 is kind of shaping up to be. And the main thing we are looking at in this video, anyway, is going to be the buff of two freaking travelers shows. And now they will say it's kind of like a minor change because technically speaking once season 19 and everything comes around they're hoping to have instead of having this full auto mod that you can put of course on weapons now obviously i'm not going to put on a freaking uh, hand cannon but this full auto retrofit this is of course a weapon mod on weapons so if you have like a pulse rifle you can stick this on sidearms as well they are planning to make this that you can just turn it on the settings basically for accessibility reasons meaning that the mod is going to be kind of useless and then of course on certain exotic weapons like the traveler's chosen which has a catalyst that grants full auto trigger They've decided to give it something else instead. And what it's going to be is what you see in the screen, boys. It's getting surplus, which, to be honest, goes super well with this whole build. So basically, what surplus does, it gives you extra stability and handling and everything based on the number of abilities you have. But not alone is it getting this new perk in terms of surplus. It's also going to be getting full auto with the toggle effect. But also, sidearms in general, they're looking to increase or buff the aim assist fall off on sidearms. So if you don't know what aim assist fall off is, it's basically the more you get further into range, the less the aim assist actually hits, you get lower aim assist over range. If they do buff it on sidearms, it means you'll be able to hit a lot more consistently over range. It'll help you out a little bit more. Now, it'll be more useful, of course, on console. So this is going to make sidearms so much better in the future as well. And guys, I can wait. I cannot wait to get my baby in my hands. Travel is chosen. We're going to be going into some pvp to kind of showcase what it's like right now and kind of tell you what it's going to be like with surplus we will have the young ahamkara spine of course to kind of spam the trip mines and everything solar to uh, hunter and everything with dodging it should be really really sweet so without further ado let's go into some pvp with the traveler's chosen Alrighty, so we're going to be going into some rumble with the traveler's chosen and this is anomaly so this is going to be sweaty as balls uh, oh he's behind me it's going to be real sweaty though because realistically this map is tiny for a sidearm but you know what it means that we should be able to kind of wreck it and everything with it no bro Where's my melee? Where's the melee aim assist? I know I'm blind, so it doesn't give it to me. Just give me something, though, Bungo. Give me something. But this is uh, Traveler Shows, and it will be losing that full auto. So, disclaimer, when I say you're getting surplus, it is instead of the full auto mod perk that will be on this. So, technically speaking, it's still going to have some really sweet perks and everything like that. Oh, my God. Of course, I'm going to get double teamed. It's still going to have the, the everything else working the same. It just means that instead of full auto, which you will be able to turn on by settings, it just means that you will be able to use this with... Oh, my God. This guy, you better die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it just means that when you have your abilities like that, I'd have the surplus going, which gives you that increased ability handling and all that sort of jazz, which on a sidearm is honestly pretty huge. So I will say that this change is going to be pretty nice for the weapon or for the weapon and everything like that. And as I said, especially with this sort of weapon, the way it works, every time I get a kill with it, I will be able to recharge pretty consistently. You know, I definitely is going to get shot on in a sec. There we go. Bro, bro, we absolutely just tried to stall on my ass and he kind of did, to be honest. <laughs> But with the course, the way this weapon works, I can't definitely destroy the enemy. So I get this guy. You can see I got the gathering light by two. Now I don't need to use it at all, but I kind of want my trip made, so I'm gonna do it. But I don't need to use it at all. So you can kind of uh, like do things like that. So you can store it and then use all your abilities to get rid of surplus. Spam the gathering light to get it all back, and you got a surplus sort of sidearm again, which is gonna be really sweet for those first kills and everything. So I definitely will say that there is ways of using this. And what the joke was? But there is definitely gonna be ways of using this, which is gonna be really really dope for the game and everything and for this weapon now. Anyone want to sneak up here and get absolutely cuffed? No, he doesn't. Bro! Oh. But yeah, I just think that considering how it's going to play out and everything, I think it's just a really, really nice kind of addition to the game. There's going to be a shotgun there, right? Oh, he's freaking amped up, bro. Come on, me with your shotgun nonsense. Come on, me with a freaking... My kill got robbed! No, you son of a god, he out of bounds. Man, Rumble is legit to shotguns and SMGs. I know this map plays into it, but legit, every time you play Rumble, you're guaranteed to have some guy just trying to tear it up with a freaking SMG. But I do think that um, this sort of sidearm, I think it will benefit a lot from the surplus. Now, not, I'm not saying it's going to be an absolute world beater with it. But I think that for people who do like the sidearms, it's definitely going to help it out a little bit. I think that it's going to make it a lot more easier to hit headshots. And especially with the fact that this will be getting... Oh my god, bro. But this will be getting the buff in terms of the sidearm um, aim assist over like long ranges and stuff. It should make this a real contender just in terms of close quarter maps. It should absolutely drop people out. All right, there's going to be too much shot shows up here. Anyone here, boys? Anyone here? There he is. And he dead. The <laughs> and the Adam Carry trip mines are so dope. And oh my god, if I died this storm grenade, I would have been pissed. My, the thing legit travels countries and miles. Like 5,000 miles like the Proclaimers. It, yo, boys. Oh my god, he's right here with a freaking shoddy. Bro, do not even try it. You see, I have my nade energy back. So what I can do is I can actually kind of run in with this. Do that. 
And then I can jump up while he's weak. He's not weak, but I can get the kill. And then I can reload it like this and get my energy and everything. Which, as I said, that's kind of the main thing I'm kind of looking to try to do. <gasps> he's a one shot. Man, if I could hit a freaking dome ski, that would be great. Any range shots, any headshots at range, that would be freaking superb, please. But yeah, that's the sort of nade combo I'm kind of going for. That will be really nice. I broke it out my face. I knew he was just going to run me with a freaking shotgun. Oh, there's a well of radiance here. Can I kill this guy in one shot? Nope, apparently not, but we get the kill anyway. Oh, oh, no, he's weak. Oh, we got the kill anyway. Don't worry, boys. We got it. I am so weak. Oh, I don't have class restoration on. Man, I forgot. I haven't played Solar Hunter since, obviously, class restoration, so I completely forgot. You got to just get amped by damage and also to be able to nail people now. Yo, bro, come at me with your shotgun. I know you freaking want to. Wait, what the? Bro, really? You're going to just hide back there? What is this? Come at me. Oh, my God. My man is just deciding in a spawn at this stage. Oh, my good God. He's going to freaking fish me off. Oh, my God. He's right here. What the? What the hell just happened? I have no idea. I'm actually close to winning this. We might actually try. Ah, oh, he needs one more. Let me get a shotgun. Yep, the shotgun kill. Let me get the last kill. Shotgun kill. Oh, broski. Come on, bro. You know you want to come back to it. You know you want to come back. There we go. As I said, it is really nice to uh, uh, build all together. I think it will go in a lot, especially with the course, the Amkaras. I think that was a really good application. And there we go. Oh, we won it. Screw it, boys. We took it. We took it off him at the end. But you can see, I already have my trip mine back and everything, which it's just a super cool build to kind of go in with. I said, it's going to make the Traveler shows a lot more viable, I think. It's not going to make it absolutely broken, but it's a super nice change. The full auto, as I said, it is nice. But with the setting coming in, it's going to make it obsolete. And I think that this surplus change, it's going to be really, really dope, though. 2.67, 24 bonus because people rob my kills. But... Man, this change is going to be really, really nice for the Traveler's Shows. And wait for the freaking Sidearm meta, boys. It's coming again. Well, that is it for me and the Traveler's Shows and Sidearm. As I said, not alone is this going to be getting the surplus. Which, as I said, it's pretty much a buff. Considering that full auto is going to be coming off it. But it does mean that full auto is going to be a setting. So you will still be able to use this. This should be Season 19, though. So it's a little bit away. But I do think that it's going to be super big for the weapon. I do think it's going to make it a lot better. It's going to make it like a, a lot more unique and obviously stable. Because you never really use your dodge that often. You have it back a lot of the time. Same with the melee and everything. It's mainly like with nade builds and everything. It's going to be super, super dope. And not alone, as I said, is the Traveler's Shows and getting this change. Sidearms in general are getting that buff to the aim assist fall off, which means you will be able to hit more accurately over range, which as I said, on a sidearm like this, which has good range anyway and a really good aim assist, it's going to make this even better. But it's more so as well for other side of side arms like lightweight frames and everything. They're going to become a lot more reliable over range too. So we'll say that. Be excited for the freaking sidearm meta, boys. It's coming next season. The sidearm meta, sidearm meta, sidearm meta. But regardless, if you liked the video, show us a like. I don't need some more content. Subscribe. Fantastic day. And hopefully I'll see the next collective in the next one.